everything where what should be what everything should be in a particular way it doesn't work like that all these items have something to do with how you live everything how it should be kept from everything to everything how the house should be where you should place what you will see it will make a lot of difference for you it is very very important to have that if you put your head to the north and sleep you could have disturbed sleep all kinds of dreams happening if you are in your old age it is possible that you can have a stroke or you could just die in your sleep not that if you sleep one day you will fall dead every day every day every day if your bed is arranged that way that every day you are sleeping put your head to the north kind of trouble you will get that depends on the strength of your system if it is weak very weak you may fall dead or you may get a stroke or you may just get disturbed sleep you may just have nightmares or during the day you act funny so many things will happen because excess circulation is happening in the brain when it should not be happening simply because you put your head to the north in the northern hemisphere you do not put your head to the north east is best north east is okay west is all right south if you must north no there are certain substances when they burn one thing is there is fragrance which is pleasant probably incense burning is about the atmosphere certain substances like sandal in india there is something called as samrani which is a very powerful thing which is used even when people are ill first thing they do is this and it is now been found it also kills certain types of bacteria in the air yes. and also on the surfaces so especially if there is a sick person in the house samrani everywhere if they want to do some auspicious event some rani all over the place it is not necessarily a fragrance it is a different kind of thing that it clarifies the air it just makes the atmosphere feel more lively fundamentally whatever structures that they are there it will make indoor like outdoor if you burn a mild amount you shouldn't to put too much then you will sneeze and lose your brains just mild samrani in the house will make it feel like though you are indoors the feeling is of out outdoors because it's an un unstructured space especially if death happens in the family samrani is burnt for up to 11 to 12 days because they want to clear that air completely the bhairavi yantra is for those who are actively involved with life they want to duplicate they have many things to do in the world they want to do many things in the world they want to lubricate their actions with the grace of the devi so devi and all the forms different types of yantras available with regard to devi is about that to bring grace in such a way that you can take up things and do things and you still do not get into friction her grace will take care of that we estimated if the homes are anywhere between 2000 to 2500 square feet a home without the small yantra would do when we noticed that the homes are larger than that we said this is not enough and we brought the avigna and avigna has a slightly more business like attitude more for success and prosperity but of course those who want to make use of it for spiritual processes can always make use of it. that element is always the basic element The idea is uh, to create an energy form, to create assistance for people to do whatever they want to do. Every day in your life, you must light an oil lamp and stay in its presence for a period of time because it will ward off many things, it will cleanse many things for your system. A cotton wick, some oil, anything. What do you use here? Normal cooking oil. linseed oil rice bran oil or sesame oil what do you have olive oil fine any organic oil with the cotton wick just burn one little lamp not today forever whenever epidemics happen in this country one important thing is to have fire burning all the time in the house this is a very important part of uh, you know warding off infections and things like that if it is airborne especially if it's airborne you light an oil lamp with vegetable oil it will make a big difference let it be around you if you sleep 
if you can find a safe place in your room where a small oil lamp is burning, you will see it will make a lot of difference for you. It has to be vegetable oils. The science of yoga clearly establishes this and we know this by our experience. By having a small piece of fire in the form of a lamp burning around you, you will see especially when you're physically not well, it is very, very important to have that. This is why from everything to everything, how the house should be, where you should place water. If I don't know, these days it's all going away, we are going by modern aesthetics. Otherwise, if my grandmother was here, everything where, what should be what? Everything should be in a particular way. In the house, if you go probably, if your mother comes from a traditional background, in the kitchen if you go, always salt and tamarind will be kept together, never separately. Do you know this? Is it so? Still yes. maintained? Yes, because all this awareness, unfortunately, just became tradition. It's beautiful that it became a tradition, but without giving the necessary understanding to people why it is so. Simply do it, do it. After some time, somebody comes and says, why should I do it? I'll keep tamarind on my head, salt somewhere else. It doesn't work like that. All these items have something to do with how you live, everything, how it should be kept. So the whole science of seeing how this human being can function at its maximum vibrance, even a simple peasant in this country knows about it without knowing about it. You know, he does not intellectually or consciously know about it, but he just knows this is how it must be done. Because the whole system of yoga was made into a cultural format and given to people because people saw the impracticality of teaching every aspect to every human being on the planet. The video discusses how the arrangements of objects in the house can affect energy structure and impact psychological and emotional states. It mentions the importance of having a fire burning all the time during epidemics. The video advises against sleeping with the head to north as it may lead to disturbed sleep or health issues. Burning certain substances like incense and sandalwood is said to create pleasant atmosphere and kill bacteria in the air and on surfaces. The video suggests using a substance called Samrani for auspicious occasions and when someone is ill. Vastu is like a set of rules that people used long ago to build houses. Back then, there were not any architects to help, so they had to figure out how to build on their own. The important thing they had to think about was the roof. They would find a tree on the farm and cut it down to use for the roof. But if the tree was short, the roof would be too low and the house would feel like a tunnel. So they learned that if one side of the house was a certain size, the other side had to be certain size too. They also realized that the rules were different depending on where they lived because of the weather and temperature. These rules helped people sensibly build their house even without an architect. Today people are making up strange and silly things because when they are very scared, they can try to find explanation for everything. This idea has become very popular in the past 10 to 20 years. Before that, People did not know about Vastu, but they were still doing well and living happily. A few years ago, Sadhguru staying at someone's house. At night, everyone in the United States works and talks on the phone after 10 o'clock. But Sadhguru's cell phone wasn't working, so he couldn't call anyone. Sadhguru wanted to use the house's phone, but he couldn't find the person who owned the house. It was late, around 12.30, 1 o'clock. So Sadhguru did not want to wake up them, but he saw them not too long ago. He decided to knock on their bedroom door. Nobody answered. So Sadhguru tried the door handle and it opened. He looked inside, but there was nobody in the room. Sadhguru thought he might be walking in the garden or in the kitchen. He looked all around the house, but he couldn't find him. 
One person called Sadhguru and told them his son was missing. Sadhguru asked him where he had been to and he said he was sleeping. Sadhguru asked where he had sleeping and he said in the bathroom. I did not even think to look there. Someone had told him that sleeping in the bathroom would bring him good luck in his business. Sadhguru told him it's better to sleep in a proper room and live a good life instead of sleeping in a bathroom and live a long life. We have shared Sadhguru's wisdom with you. I hope you have heard many significant information regarding this subject in the video. Write your valuable opinions about this video in the comment box. Like the video, share it with your family and friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching. Pranam.